top government leaders joined concerned citizens tonight to urge the federal government not to forget about Flint in the economic recovery process. An event called the Recovery Express Rally was held at the Quinn Chapel AME Church. ABC 12's Rebecca Trilch is live there with more. Rebecca? Hi, Joel. A bus that is carrying dozens of people is literally pulling in the driveway right now. You just can't see it from our camera, camera vantage point right now. They're just one part of tonight's rally that is focusing on the foreclosure crisis. Earlier tonight, Flint residents gathered to talk about how the problem affects our community. Up next, the people on that bus will take those concerns to Washington. Flint's mayor, alongside a former mayor and a city councilor, rallied Sunday night with folks belonging to the Flint area congregations together. We must say our voices heard. Those voices are talking about the foreclosure crisis. Just because we're comfortable today, it may be us tomorrow. This issue affects everybody because if it doesn't do anything but cause your property values to go down, I got my assessment and I looked at that and I thought, oh my goodness. That's why FACT is sending five delegates to Washington as part of the Recovery Express. The first thing we want to say to Washington is, is don't forget about Flint. Using song, prayer, and speech, organizers laid out their lobbying priorities for the Washington trip. They include holding banks and lenders accountable, helping homeowners modify loans, and creating new regulations for the financial industry. The Flint delegation will work to spread that message with the help of a few hundred other people hoping to make a difference. Any great movement that started in this country started at the grassroots. And if the grassroots don't rise up, don't sound their voices, then uh, Washington is not going to hear. And you see the bus is pulling in right here. It's a couple hours behind schedule, but it has arrived. And this Flint stop is just one of 11 on their cross-country track that has taken them all the way from California, and they'll end up in Washington. Reporting live in Flint, Rebecca Trilch, ABC 12 News.